As promised, we're going to talk about whites. Um, I mentioned earlier that there are a lot of different whites out there, and well, they all look white to me, so why do we need all these whites? Um, and I'm going to break down uh, basically three of the uh, better known whites to help you understand why we have all these different types of whites. Um, on this palette, you see I have three different uh, whites laid out. This is a titanium white, this is a zinc white, and this is a opaque white. On this side, uh, I have all Lucas red. Um, I like to use red for this demonstration because, well, you'll see, it's nice and fun. Um, so anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens when you mix these different colors to give you a better idea. Um, starting with the um, titanium white. Now, scientifically, it's supposed to be an exact amount that you use of each paint uh, for drawdowns and whatnot, but we're not being scientific about it. We're just doing this for, well, face value. So uh, it's close enough for our purposes. When I mix these two colors together, the Lucas Red and the Titanium White, I should render a very nice Valentine's Day-ish pink, because as we know, white and red make pink. Um, and that's just what we have here, a very nice Valentine's Day pink. But now, let's go and let's take the same red, but this time we're going to mix it with zinc white. Uh, I've got my zinc white here and my red. Now you'll notice that when I mix these two colors together it lightens the red but it, it barely, if, if any, turns it pink. It maintains its red properties stronger than its white properties. And uh, that is why zinc, is, zinc white is known as a mixing white. It's um, very, very soft and transparent. It, it doesn't tint the paint nearly as strongly as a titanium white would. Um, so as you can see here, I've lightened the red effectively with a white without turning it pink. Lastly, we have opaque white, also known uh, as flake white, formerly known as lead white. Um, <clears throat> none of these paints have any lead in it, so no worries there. Uh, this wh white is just what it says, it's an opaque white. Um, it will cover, as you can see, the, uh, the palette underneath. It covers it completely. Uh, its job is to, well, cover. Um, if I was to mix this with the red, you will see that the white is very strong in this case and gives a very chalky type look to the red. And this is the, well, opacity taking its strength. Um, that chalkiness is from the white really, really taking hold and not wanting to uh, give in nearly as much as the uh, zinc or titanium white. So you get a more chalky looking red. And mainly opaque white isn't used much for uh, mixing colors, but you know, laying down backgrounds and covering up areas. So anyway, I hope this little demonstration helps you understand white a little bit better and know which ones will work best for you. So we'll see you at the next lesson.